we ended up having to postpone our flight twice, and then yesterday I spent all day going from airline to airline to airline to try and find the closest flight back to Rochester before next week. And so thankfully we have a flight on Friday at 7:15 in the morning, but uh, it kind of sucks because we plan we only planned for so many days, so we're we're a little bit low on diapers and stuff like that. But we've got enough for now. Hopefully we've got food that we stockpile when we when we stay at the hotels because you know. When you come on a budget and then you exceed that budget, it's kind of hard to keep going. So now we're just gonna kind of hang out until the until the until Friday when our flight takes off and hope that this uh, storm passes. part for me isn't necessarily being stuck here as much as like we only planned for a certain amount of days when you have a little kid with you he takes top priority so when he starts running low on stuff that's when it gets kind of terrifying Uh, flight out of Tampa was canceled, so I drove to Orlando, which is ahead of the hurricane. I was checking in my flight this morning, and as I was checking in, that flight was canceled. So um, there's no way out of uh, Florida at the moment, and and I'll probably stay here at the uh, at the airport for the next two days, and then make my way back to Sarasota. Hopefully, still have a home. We need everyone to go over to the middle of the food court area. Yeah. Because the airport's closing now. Yeah. And we're not set up as a shelter. No, I understand that, but I, I can't get home. Oh, I'm stuck here for the last flight to leave. I know. Yeah. But you'll be able to go to one of the local shelters, which we're going to have a bus to transport everybody over to, where they can actually assist you guys better. We, we're not set up as a shelter. So